Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Potentials. So today we'll be presenting for about 15 minutes to discuss on our gastronomy cuisine ready for the millennial workforce. First off, let me introduce you to my teammates. I am Shahila. Right behind me is Yashini, followed by Aziza, Shaza, Li Ying, and Li Lin. The agendas of today's presentation is that we'll be giving you a brief history about the background of gastronomy cuisine, followed by some key issues and findings that we've discovered, action plan and recommendations for those issues, and finally, conclusion to top it off. I'll start by giving you some brief introduction about gastronomy cuisine. So gastronomy cuisine has been in Singapore for over three years. It originally originated in Moscow. It launched its first branch in Singapore in the year 2015. Its mission is turning learning and mastering cooking skills into exciting new opportunities to have a great time and taste delicious dishes. Its vision is to open up more than 100 studios in other locations all over the globe. So gastronomy cuisine offers team building events tailor made for corporate companies, baking classes or master classes where customers can learn how to cook different cuisines from different parts of the world, and finally organizes surprises for birthdays and family parties. Before we touch on the issues that we've discovered, let's talk about what do millennials want. To summarize everything, millennials want purpose. They want growth opportunities. They want flexibilities, as well as they want constant feedback. According to Gallup's Big Six Functional Changes, millennials don't work for a paycheck. They want a purpose. They are not pursuing job satisfaction, but rather job development. They crave for constant feedback. And finally, they want flexibility in their work arrangements. Over to you, Yashini. So here's a contrast on what millennials actually want and what gastronomic cuisine do not offer. Just like Shahila mentioned earlier on, millennials want purpose. They want growth opportunities, flexibility and communication. But in gastronomic cuisine, millennials actually feel like they're missing a sense of purpose in their work and they feel like there's no further career development opportunities. And they also feel like, and that's, sorry, sorry the company also faces millennials taking advantage of the sick leaves and there's no constant feedback. So moving on, I'd like to highlight a point here that millennials do not just work for a paycheck and in fact they want a purpose. And to support this point, Mr. Jim Clifton, the CEO and Chairman of Gallup has also agreed on this. So what are the types of purposes that millennials actually look out for? Different millennials will have different points and purpose, but the purpose that we will be focusing on is CSR involvement. So moving on to the very first issue we have identified in gastronomic cuisine is that millennials feeling like they're missing something in their job, missing a sense of purpose in their job. So according to Gallup's report, we found out that millennials want to understand how they can actually, you know, uh, how they can actually fit into their jobs, teams and companies. And they also feel, they also look out for jobs that actually fuels their sense of purpose and also make them feel important. So here's an article we actually extracted from Forbes.com, whereby Mr. Carl, a contributor, uh, actually agrees and explains furthermore on millennials working for a purpose and not just for the paycheck. So the solution for this issue would be basically to introduce CSR into this organization and sorry, to introduce CSR into this organization and this will actually um, have, having CSR involvement will not only provide the employees with a strong sense of purpose, but it will also benefit them well. So one of the type of CSR activities they can actually implement would be to conduct free cooking classes for elderly, for the public, and also sponsor food for charity shows. So for the action plan of this issue is to, like I said earlier on, implement CSR activities by the millennials themselves, means they will be the ones organizing it. And the impact this will have on the organization is that it will actually it will boost employee recruitment, customer retention, and it will also have a positive image on the society. The main objective of this action plan is basically to play an active role in community service by building stable relationships with the communities alike. So here are two practical examples of how they can actually implement their CSR activities. 
and this will actually lead to smiles on faces of both the millennials and the communities. Over to you, Aziza. Thank you. Based on the same report, it stated that 59% of the millennials have mentioned that the opportunities to learn and grow are extremely important to them when they are applying for a job. Development is a top factor when it comes to retaining a millennial. So for the next issue that we have identified is lack of growth opportunities. Currently, gastronomy cuisine do not provide any opportunities for the employees to provide, no, sorry, to develop their own professional skills outside the workforce. This is a problem because current employees will only get to expand their knowledge and skills into a small, into a limited space area. Research has shown that millennials crave and wanted a development. As you can see on the article, 87% of the millennials have stated that it is very important to have a development in a job. Therefore, our solution to the company is to implement an incentive trip to Moscow where they get to learn abroad, motivate them to work, and even has the opportunity to interact with people from different global office as it will forge a better team bonding and also drives people to perform consistently that will benefit the business. Moving on to our action plan, the activity to implement is an incentive trip. <clears throat> this will impact the company by having a positive effect on the retention rates, increases organizational performance, and also addresses the skill gaps. The objective is to train the employees for further development and growth, and hence, retaining the talent of its own employees. Over to you, Shaza. Thank you, Aziza. So millennials want flexibility in their work. You want more time for their family and friends. So the next issue identified is lack of motivation. The HR management of gastronomic cuisine had detected some cases of serious misconduct relating to sick leave. The reason why millennials miss using sick leave is because that they want more time for their personal staff. Now let's take a look at the example. Supposedly a manager needs six staff to bring a task, but however three of them is absent. This meant that the remaining employees have to do extra work and this could impact the productivity and would also cause the organization to lose money. As for the solution is to offer flexibility to empower employees to be more independent and it shows trust and respect by offering them flexible work arrangements and also to offer them trade-offs well, trade with well-defined ground rules. As for the action plan is to implement flexible work arrangements and the impact on the organization will be greater efficiency and more motivation for millennials to go to work. And the objective is to help the millennials to maintain their work-life balance. Over to you, Yi. So based on the report, millennials want constant feedback. It is essential for millennials. It is essential to managing millennials. It is often the case where Communication is crucial for it to succeed. So the fourth issue identified is lack of sorry, the fourth issue identified is no constant feedback. The company uses 360 degree feedback, which is good, but they are not constant enough. As we all know that millennials want to be heard all the time, they want constant feedback and not just annual review. So moving on to the solution is to provide constant feedback. Like for example, the 360 degree feedback, it can be done quarterly instead of annually, and also to provide on-time feedback at the end of each of the project. And also to collect the feedback uh, within one week. Also to assess each and every one of the project individually. So moving on to the action plan is to implement uh, quarterly feedback. This will impact the organization by improving future communication and share and respect others' opinion. So for the objective is to sort out any conflicts between the employers and employees and also the feedbacks given by the employees about work. Over to you, Lily. Thank you for recommendations. The first recommendation will be employee developments. Employee developments focus more on the employee growth and future performance. Having a good training and development will help to keep the right people in the company. The five-step process will be Step 1. Identify key areas and positions. Step 2. Identify capability for key areas and positions. Step 3. Identify interested employees and assess them. Step 4. Develop and implement successions. And also lastly, Step 5. Evaluate effectiveness. 
The second recommendation will be stock share options. Offer meaningful stock share options for both attracts the millennials and the more talented employees. These stock share options give an employee the privilege to buy a specific number of shares in the company at a fixed price for a specific number of years. This is a flexible way for the company to share their ownership with the employees, reward them for performance, attract and retain a, million, a motivated staff. Over to you, Shahila. Thank you. So to sum it all up, this is a table summarizing everything that we've got. So in conclusion, if gastronomic cuisine is able to propose the ideas that we are able to implement, it will lead, it, we believe they will lead to more productivity among the workers, more millennials wanting to work with them, and finally, a positive brand image set up by Singaporeans. Currently, gastronomic cuisine is not millennial ready. However, by implementing the ideas that we propose, we believe it will become more millennial ready in the future. With that, we are the millennials and we are Innovative, diverse, progressive, compassionate, and smart. And we are unique. And with that, we are the Potentials. <laughs> Any questions? Sure, I've got questions. <laughs> You, you wouldn't expect the judges to keep quiet, right? Yeah, first of all, um, I was actually sitting here and I said it was a very good gesture of SHRI to invite our caterers during lunchtime to sit over there. Yeah. So, uh, it was a pleasant surprise, a uh, cool outfit. Yeah? Thank you. Cool outfit. Uh, so, I thought you guys were the caterers for lunch. I said, well, not bad, I'm looking for lunch. Now, um, firstly, it was a good presentation that you guys made. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised that you guys, uh, each one of you, made the presentation without any script. Uh, and I think uh, to get to that level, uh, it shows that you have put in a lot of effort. Yeah, and to make this uh, today a very meaningful and purposeful uh, event. Thank you so and, much. And I'm, I'm very proud of you guys to do that. Yeah. Uh, clap, clap. <laughs> Now, for my question, okay, um, the whole entire presentation was about what you guys found. Mm -hmm. My question is, could the team perhaps share briefly what were the three positive things that you got out from your steam with the company? To, can I rephrase? The three positive things that we found out from the company, is it? Yes. Surely there must be something good about this company, right? You identified lots of opportunities, but what are the three good things that you discover while working for that company? Well, uh, one, the first of all is that the human resource manager and the human resource department, we actually met with them. They are very friendly towards the employees and such. Uh, towards everyone. We are actually like quite surprised by how much they are like welcoming us. And then secondly, the environment of the whole office is very youthful like. It's, it gives a youthful vibe. So millennials definitely will want to work uh, to go there because obviously the decorations, how they do it, everything is suited towards the millennials taste. And last but not least, they listen to millennials what they want and they actually tell us um, if there's anything, we were actually willing to change it. So they are willing to implement the ideas that we propose because it will lead them to more productivity like I mentioned. Yeah, they are very open to change. Yeah. That's the three things that we found is good in the company. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, uh, good job, very good job. I, I really like your slides. Um, oh, sorry, just one comment first. Huh? This idea of speaking without script uh, is good because it shows how familiar, how confident you are of your materials. Uh, but on the other hand, that adds a lot of pressure on you. Okay. Now, in the corporate world, it's perfectly okay for us to look at notes. Okay. Even the, the, the professional guys here. We do look at notes, right? We don't have to memorize our script every time, okay? So don't don't have to add additional pressure there. Yeah, but anyway, still good job. Thank um, you. 
I just want to ask a question about uh, the, the part about purpose. Yeah, I, I like the comment that uh, Melania spoke for purpose, not paycheck. Uh, I'm just looking at your recommendation. It seems to suggest that uh, you're suggesting that to address the issue of purpose, get involved in CSR. So purpose equals CSR. Is that right? Uh, yes, that's how. That's right. Yeah. How so? Okay, so like what my uh, teammate actually mentioned, Yakshini, she mentioned that millennials have purpose. And purpose actually differs from different people. Obviously, some people want to make a change in the world. Some people wanted to commit more to social impact. Different people have different kinds of purpose. However, we pick CSR involvement because among all of the purpose, CSR involvement is the one that we can implement in the company. Others is not so much. That's why we implemented CSR. We suggested CSR because it's the most logical way of how to, uh, to, uh, to suggest a purpose for millennials. Yes. Ladies, um, very nice. I thought you did a great job and probably setting the bar for the rest of the teams here. Um, I've got a question though. You've got theories that you threw up from Gallup and you've quote from Forbes. Those are typically US-based or global, right? And you've recommended a few things around CSR and employee stock options and all. As millennials yourselves, if this company implemented everything there, would you join them and stay there? Huh? That's not a quick answer of yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, um, my team actually said that if Gastronomy Cuisine is able to implement the ideas that we propose, everything, we actually wanted to go inside the, join the company. Definitely, yes. And stay there for a long time? <laughs> yes, definitely. Because the first thing is that, like my uh, teammate mentioned, Aziza, they offer growth opportunities for me. If they offer growth opportunities for me, it means that they are actually wanting for me to grow with them. So if they were to open uh, another, let's say, another location in other, like Southeast Asia, then they would uh, suggest me to go inside because obviously they found me as a very loyal employee. That's, that's why my opinion is, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for your interesting presentations. I think I like the product like slide. Uh, you incorporate you. the infographics as well as a summary sheet to actually share with us what we have uh, presented earlier. Uh, I have just one question. Just a quick check. Whether uh, I, I believe that you have come up, uh, you have actually came up with all the solutions recommendations. Uh, do you also consider the ways of different platforms to measure the effectiveness of these recommendations. Can we have uh, a minute to discuss? Sure. Thank you.
so for this, um, to measure the recommendations, um, we will actually um, sorry, reward the staff with, you know, like, if they stay longer with us, we will, like, about, like, among six months, we will, like, you know, provide them with incentives and stuff. Yes. So these recommendations are, like, incentives for them to stay longer. Yeah. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you.